Hi, Smisha DeBono is in National City to explain why. The La Vista Memorial Park ceremony honoring those who were attacked at Pearl Harbor in 1941 that ultimately brought America into World War II started with a tradition going back to World War I. The presentation of the Navy's symbolic two-bell ceremony. The toll of the ship's bell reminds us of the reverence we owe to our departed comrades in arms. The national anthem sung by 13-year-old Yasmin Serrano of Granger Middle School started the ceremony on a high note. For the land of the free. I think it's important just to carry on the tradition. Oh, you know, daughter. Uh, serving our country. Uh, it's very important. Without, without people out here, all <laughs> these sailors and stuff, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. This 2019 memorial ceremony is especially poignant as it will be the last. The Pearl Harbor Carnation Chapter 3 will close due to the falling number of Pearl Harbor survivors remaining alive and several not able to be as active due to medical restrictions. There's me and Yassi. They, they, they were made of something different. Uh, we're all into technology and stuff now and they, 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 they paved the path for us. There are only a handful of Pearl Harbor vets left living here in San Diego. But today is not only to honor those who died, but also a time for those who lived to share their stories. What takes the swim Well, I soon found out. Ben Ballou is a retired Navy Chief Warrant Officer. He oh, served in Vietnam. You had friends there, and you lost a few friends. We were very fortunate to be in there early. We lost one man, 13 wounded, and one boat. Now the people who came behind us, uh, we lost many boats and many, many sailors. While the ceremony comes to an end, in the future, the collectibles and display from the Carnation Chapter 3 here in National City will travel so younger generations will always remember. It's so, a uh, huge honor to be able to talk to these veterans here and shake their hands. Because uh, as we know, the greatest generation, we're losing them a terrific great family. So capturing what they did and how they did stuff is certainly something we want to make sure that uh, we don't like to get away. From National City on this Memorial Day, Misha Bono, Fox 5 News.